Welcome to the Nostalgia Test Podcast, the show where two longtime friends put their mainstream pop culture past to the ultimate test, the Nostalgia Test. All right, welcome everyone to another episode of the Nostalgia Test Podcast. I'm Dan Dissinger here in LA, and I'm here with my co-host and longtime friend, Manny Aguelo in New York. Manny. What's up? What's going on? I am great. I'm great. I cannot wait to get into this episode. Dude. Another game show. Boom. I'm sure the other game show has the episode is out. So check yeah. it out. Check out so, that episode because that episode was insane. I mean, when you guys double you know. dare. Woo! Check out the double dare episode. We yeah. are putting to the test. Oh God. Do you have it? Guts. Yeah, the Nickelodeon. Holy nostalgia. Oh. Right? I guess it was Guts presented by Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon Guts. Yeah, I think it's... I, it says Nickelodeon Guts. Yeah, Nickelodeon uh, Guts. Yeah. Do you have it? Now, if this is the first time you are here at the Nostalgia Test, let me give you a little explanation of what we do. Me and Dan, longtime friends. He's in the West Coast. I'm in the East Coast. LA, New York. We put our pop culture past to the test, and we call it the nostalgia test. And what that means is that we take anything from movies, music, game shows, toys, chips, Doritos, and we put it to our own test, whether it stays nostalgic from our past or does it pass it? Do we enjoy it now? Will we enjoy it now? Like Doritos, that passed the test for me. Didn't pass it for Dan, but Doritos, I eat Doritos all the time, not Dan. So it's our test. Maybe you don't want to agree with it. Maybe you do. Either way, we want to hear from you. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And Dan is about to tell you how to do all that. If you like this podcast and you enjoy what you're hearing, subscribe to the podcast. You can go right to the website, nostalgiatest.com. Hit subscribe. You can subscribe on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Podcasts. Wherever you get your podcast, subscribe to the Nostalgia Test podcast. Join the email list so you can get alerts when new episodes drop and when you know when Manny and I are going to go and do another IG Live. We do an IG Live 15-minute Nostalgia Test podcast episode around every, basically every two weeks. We'll get an alert when we're doing it and what the next uh, topic is. So... Here we are, Manny. Like you said, here we are. Go. And I, I'm like, we're I'm liking this Nickelodeon uh, through line we're doing here for this because super amazing, dude. It's bringing me back to like how Nickelodeon was like, you know, it was an institution, man, when we were kids. You know, like you had Saturday morning cartoons, and then you had like Nickelodeon, a whole other oh, like whole other world, whole other world, whole other cable channel. There was the Universal Studios made the whole thing around that. And you, I remember seeing the outside, the slime, everything, slime, slime, slime. They, mm. Like they were the HBO of kids. That's a good way of putting it. Definitely. They, I never thought of it that way, but you're right. It's like, it was like the HBO of kit for kids. I mean, they had yeah. everything. I mean, not to go so deep into Nickelodeon, but like now that we've seen these two game shows, there's so there's a world of Nickelodeon shows that even me not having cable loved watching when I had I had a chance and watched a lot of it. I think one of my favorites, if we don't not to go too deep, but like a Salucha Shorts, that was one of my favorite shows on Nickelodeon. I don't know why it was just hilarious to me. I, there's just oh man, yeah, no, dude, we had plenty to do. We had plenty to test still. Yeah. And Nickelodeon shows are going to be on the, those tests because, I mean, come on. There were children, children shows that what would be memes now was just things that we used to say and joke around and do. I mean, so, all right. So, this we're here. Nickelodeon guts. Guts! Dude. <laughs> First of all, much better opening than Double Dare. Holy shit. Dude. Right? Great music. Great music. You got it. Guts. guts. Actually, I felt like City Guys stole the music from Guts and made the City Guys theme song You're with this music. Absolutely right. <laughs> oh, I think you might be right about this. <laughs> Dude, if I'm right, if the same guy made the uh, the Guts theme song, the, because made the uh, the City Guys theme song, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to find it. So it opening opening thing. 
got do you have it nickelodeon guts yeah now do you notice as they're panning through the whole gymnasium which is kind of like an olympics for kids olympic gymnasium for kids yeah the dancers that are have the dancing that's happening with all the people that are at each station I for do. the the obstacles so, they're dancing to this yeah okay again we have another crowd losing their mind this right? crowd lost it losing their mind love the warm ups right the warm ups remind me of now is like ninja ninja warrior yes you know yeah they're stretching everybody's yes. stretching it's kind of like a WWF. Yeah, I'm going to say WWF because we're in that nostalgic space where yeah. WWE was called WWF, yeah. and that's how I know it. So that's how I'm going to call it. Okay. Where WWE. you would, you know, you, you're walking. They had the walk in. I love it. Amazing. They had the stretch. You know, they, told, they were told to do that, right? Because they're yeah. not really stretching. <laughs> they're not really stretching. They're like, no. No, you know they're pretending to stretch, and you can tell which kid's gonna win, though. You can really tell, like right in that opening. Like I know the first link I sent you, which we're gonna put all the links to the three episodes we saw of Guts, and then Link One, <clears> that <throat> kid John came out. He was so confused. They were like, you know, look happy, and he put his arms up. He's like, ah. and, I, <laughs> and I was just like, oh boy, dude. dude one of them couldn't even slap five, slap someone five. Like they messed up on their ha- their high five. Yeah, they messed up a high five. I don't know bro. how to use the high five. Oh, God. You too. <laughs> you too. Oh, my God, dude. Dude, it was ridiculous. Before we get into how we feel about it now, yeah. what do you remember? Do you remember liking this show? So, okay. So, off the first episode that we watched, right? When that slam dunk thing came, like the first thing with the slam dunk, I was like, oh, I remember this. At first, yeah. I was like, Guts, I kind of remember this. But when I saw that that game, the slam dunk game, I immediately was like, oh, okay, now I know what we're talking about. Um, this show was awesome. Every obstacle was great. And I wanted to run up that mountain. And I feel like so many game shows, like, um, after that, had some sort of, like, there, was, there are other game shows with, like, these run up these mountain things at the end. But mm-hmm. this was all, I mean, I loved it. I mean, I was just like the, I, another show I wanted to be on when I was a kid. So this was like Gladiators for Kids. Yes. Is yeah. I saw it. Yeah. So as opposed to Double Dare, where it was like questions, this was like the athletes, you know, the extreme sports with a little bit of a twist yeah. on them. I always remembered liking Guts. I think it was always because I wanted to be on the show. So one of the best parts about this show, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys, they loved using bungee, the bungee cords. Holy shit. And they would, they would switch up the game, but use the same bungee cords. Did you notice that? It was like slam dunk basketball. Yeah. Throw, throw the football through the tire. Yeah. And then archery oh, using yes. the bungee cords. The oh, best yeah. is when you got the short kid who couldn't in light. So if you were short and light, you weren't bouncing. You weren't going back. <laughs> Did you notice that the spotters, after 10 <laughs> seconds, which I didn't know was the rule, after yeah. 10 seconds, they're allowed to help you. The one kid is like this. <laughs> and he won. He won yeah. the archery. And they're like, how did it go? He's like, oh, I just couldn't grab on. I had to use my feet. I was like, dude, you were just lo- there. If oh. you didn't jump and, oh, my God. Dude, it was ridiculous. I mean, the other games, the bungee cord I really like was the rebound game. Uh, they put the basketball at the top, and, and they all jumped to one pedestal with the basketball, and they had to grab it, kind of like still okay. thinking. Yeah. And then um, they had to jump over some poles. It, it was, but it was so much bigger than Double Dare. Dude, they were in a gym. They were in like an Olympic stadium. And they were not that them. big, but it was big. There were so many helpers. There was, they were everywhere. I was, I was like, when you said the helpers in the, in the Double Dare, I'm like, dude, that – that didn't even come close to the helpers in in, in guts. Like, oh. I, I kept thinking, like, how much money did they have to make oh. to make this worth it? Because there was so many people working on that show. Yeah. Dude, each kid had like four helpers on them. <laughs> There's three kids. Yeah, three kids, like twelve thousand helpers. I think what was cool though about guts and what I found really interesting was that it was, you know, like a co-ed competition. So yes. it was just like everyone going up against it. And at first, when I was watching the first, I was like, oh, man, 
Like, I don't know if this is fair, but that dude, the first one we saw, that girl just dominated. Dominated. Wow. Like, you know, it doesn't really matter, obviously. But I was brought, I was, I was impressed by some of these games. I think that, I mean, it was just like really creative and really fucking cool. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, whew, and hosted by. I thought I was interested. I was, I was interested in the, the crag. That that was the main part of it. Like everybody loved climbing that. But I thought the other the games were interesting. Some of them were stupid to watch. If like the kid got like you know, some of them I didn't like. Go ahead and who hosted this thing? <laughs> so yeah, the host of the show, Michael Malley. Uh, he had a part uh, recently in the uh, the Good Place. Um, he was also uh, in a show I used to watch all the time because I don't know I really love sitcoms uh, called uh, Yes Dear. But when I saw Michael Malley, who's an American actor and writer who's appeared in films and television shows, uh, so he was the host of 1990s children's game Guts. Before moving to L.A. later that decade, he's uh, to star in his own sitcom called The Michael Malley Show. He's best known for his role as Jimmy Hughes on Yes, Dear. Um, he was nominated for an Emmy for his role as Burt Hummel in the Fox series Glee. So he was also in Glee. Yeah, yeah he had a big part in Glee. At huge, Glee. Huge, huge part in Glee. Yeah. Yeah, um, so really great actor, really awesome writer, never saw him with hair, and as soon as he came on the screen, he had hair, I freaked out. <laughs> Bro, he, the, you want to talk about host making a show, man, he, this guy had some energy, man, oh, he yeah. did not stop, he was going crazy, yeah. the zoom-ins on his face, it was hilarious, yeah. at one point, the woman, Mo, was like, uh, Mike, you need a nap. Like, she was like, you need to calm down. Like, stop having coffee. Because there was point, points of the show that kind of got boring. He just kept it going. Like, yeah. he made anyone interesting. And there was some digs, man. He would dig at some of these uh, some of these kids, like, just getting stuck or whatever. Like, there was one there was <laughs> ridiculous part where they, like, they use the pool. And it's just the, they have to get to the other side of the pool. And it, sometimes they used a knee board. But then there was one episode that I watched, and I don't know if you saw this one, but I watched one episode where they just had an oar. No. And they, they're just trying to get through while they're hanging there in, in a bungee cord, trying to get through. And it was ridiculous. I was like, what am I watching? That's when I got, I was like, what the hell is this shit? Dude, there's a lot of bungee cords on guts. Like, if you could put a bungee cord on a kid and just have some sort of like thing that they do, is like, yeah. But remember that? Remember the game they did in one of the they, where they tied them together in in kind of like bungee cords, and it was and they called the game fumble. And they had all no. these, so they had all these footballs, right? And and so three kids are tied together in a way with bungee cords. So if one kid runs forward. It pulls the other two kids back a little bit. <laughs> so they're all trying to capture these footballs and they're all pulling each other. And it was insane. I'm just like, whatever they did, I was like, okay, fumbles. So we like steal the bacon. And then they put it up a level by just tying them all together with bungee cords. I was just That's like, what? Fantastic. But yeah, he had to work double time. I mean, Michael Malley really gave it a lot of energy. I was, I don't know if you've seen the, um, the reboot episodes of supermarket sweep with uh, Leslie Jones, but yes, Leslie Jones is like on a thousand. It's like, she's watching supermarket sweep for the first time. And she's yeah. invested in people winning. When I was watching this show, he was like totally into it. And he was just like, and he's going across. You got it. Bro. And he's just like screaming. <laughs> the whole bro, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to bring this up again. I brought this up in the last game show episode that I have been watching Celebrity Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Leslie Jones is in an episode of Celebrity Wheel of Fortune. Her energy on that show is a thousand. Just on, on Wheel of Fortune. Like, she's so happy. She's like, <laughs> she's, like <laughs> she's like, she's like, Pat, Pat. I always tell people why are you wasting money on vowels, but now I understand you need the vowels. Like he, she's going nuts. She goes nuts. You have to watch it. She's I great. Have. She's I great. Have. Because and I, I love that that they brought yeah. Supermarket Sweep back. Oh, I love it, dude. I have to like watch that because um, there was a joke by a comedian Nick Swartzen who did a joke about being on game shows. And he's like, I don't understand how people don't get angry. He's like, if I was on Wheel of Fortune and all this money and I spun the wheel and went to bankrupt, I'd be like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Do 
<laughs> Dude, she gets angry. She gets angry. And everyone just goes, oh, okay, my money's gone. Yeah, you just lost all that money. What do you mean yeah. you had that money? You had oh it. Oh, my God. And that's a nostalgia test tangent. That's why it's funny with this show, too. Like, every time he had to talk to someone, if, like, they had a hard time or whatever, they were like, so what happened up there? Like, <laughs> Are you having a hard Dude. time with that? What, what, what's going on? Like, what do you mean what's going on, bro? I'm out of breath. Like, this shit was hard. <laughs> you put me on a bungee cord. I have, I have five helpers. I weigh 50 pounds. I have to jump down 30 feet almost. And then, like, jump Dude, up no. and then jump back. Like, get the fuck out of here. So, so they're jumping up these seven feet high. Seven foot, like, eight inches high that they're jumping, Right. The best is like so. I've been um, I like the teenagers that that are kind of like grown. They could deal with the bungee cords. It's the best ones when you get the guys that like the pre teenagers that they get, like the twelve year olds, because they're just hanging there. They're just hanging there. But like, yeah, <laughs> they're hanging there and like and them. he and he's making fun of them, kind yeah. of like he's digging at them. That's what I'm saying. The host does it. He is on fire the whole time. I anytime I think about guts, it was always him. Yeah. Like, I always remembered him. Yeah. It's like, do you have any? He's like, spill your guts. Matt, yeah, well, <laughs> let's let's hear Matt spill his guts. Yeah, what is he like? Yeah, I'm basketball. I'm a soccer. What if it was like, he's a soccer star? It's like, what? He's a soccer star. The best is like, they didn't spill their guts. They just like wrote something and he then sa- it. said it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like they like interviewed the kids because they were probably like these kids have to get bungee cord right now like we can't interview the kids <laughs> so like i'm looking at my notes and i keep seeing things like football bungee awesome basketball yes like <laughs> i was just like super into it and like the one thing i was like this is american ninja warrior before it, it was american. that's that's exactly what it is it's yeah. american ninja warrior for yeah. kids yeah. Now they have American Ninja like this kids American Ninja Warrior like gyms that people what? go to and stuff. Yeah, dude. God, dude, that is crazy. I remember as a kid, it was just like it's either you're gonna do Little League, karate, or I think that's the choice and Boy Scouts. And I chose Little League, which is a big mistake, and then went to karate. But like I, I did all of them. Now kids are like, you want to do American Ninja Warrior gym? Or yeah, me? dude. Yo, there's there's private lessons. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my sister bought my niece a whole thing that you should put between two trees and it's an american ninja warrior kit oh sh- like what well, you have what to like it's going on swing yeah man what? <laughs> yeah oh man. my god dude i never had shit like that i just got thrown in the yard it's like pretend and now there's this All show right. called lava Dude, the floor is lava. But look, look, listen, bro. Back to back to guts. Okay. And that's a nostalgia test tangent. So I love that. Like, so every show had a different form of the track that they had, right? They had like, okay, we're going to make you run, but we're also going to add ob- weird obstacles. Like, yes. we're going to make you run and we're going to put like leaves. Like, leaves was an obstacle. Leaves blowing in the wind was an obstacle. Yeah, that was ridiculous. What the fuck? And then you, and you like webs, you know, and they have to like climb ropes and stuff yeah. like that. Like it got it got tougher as the years went through. This I have to say is definitely better quality than Double Dare. The obstacles were like legit, dude. They had like, one the obstacles. A, a BMX race. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, "Whoa! Wait a second. Like. <laughs> They got on BMX bikes and timed them on a track. I was just like, where did they come up with that? Like, it's like, all right, well, now uh, do a race. All right, you, yeah, get on that bike. Let's go. Like, what? They didn't film this this that many throughout the time, like Double no. Dare. Like, no. they didn't rush this. You can't rush this. No, no. So you no. couldn't rush this. There was way too many, like, setups. Like, they put these kids in, like, bathing suits. Yeah. They were like, it was insane. But I will say this. What's funny is that it's so They had weird. global guts, bro. They had, like, global competition. Like, people from different countries. So, in guts, like, it was only on for, like, three years or four years. It That's was on it? for, like, four seasons from 92 to 95. And it only had 160 episodes. I'm really surprised by that. 
Yo, it was followed by My Family's Got Guts, and then, you know, that was it. Uh, you said there's Global Guts, but I it just didn't... I don't know. I would thought that it would have way more seasons than just that many, but then it's Nickelodeon. So, I mean, Nickelodeon maybe is just like, like running through it to kind of like get as many, you know, uh, um, you know, as ratings down. That's it, man. Like, what are, what are they really selling? You know, you know, again, so, this is all advertising, right? And okay. now I'm getting sick watching the one where they, they make the pool into a wave pool. It's called oh, Hang 10. Dude, that was so ridiculous because I used to do that. I, okay, so when I was a kid, I had an above ground pool. Yeah. Holy nostalgia. And, uh, yes, me too. And if you ju- we used to do this thing like you jump in the middle and then all of a sudden it's just like big waves. Yeah. When I saw that happening, I was like, oh my God, that's an actual thing. Like they, they, they're doing what I did in my backyard to make waves. That, that was, was a- ridiculous. That challenge is kind of stupid. No, the challenge is stupid. The best part, though, like as I'm watching, remember how we're joking around about the helpers? Like, so they're in an above ground pool. As soon as they get off, like the the board, the per- the helpers like holding their waist, like walking them to the to the <laughs> end of the pool. They're so afraid of anyone getting hurt, dude. Nobody can you imagine. Like, they don't want anyone to get sued. This this is crazy. What's funny is, th- like, we talked about it again in, the la- in our uh, Double Dare episode that, you know, in this show, no one, they don't want anyone to get hurt. There's helpers and whatever. When it's adults, like, for Wipeout, it doesn't matter what happens to them. Like, no. they're literally throwing, flailing their bodies, like, across, like, things, getting punched in the face, getting, like, bouncing off these big, like, red balls. And, like, they look like, you know, dolls just flying through the air. Uh, but with this, it's just like, okay, the first thing they say is like, safety first. It's like the first line, and like <laughs> when they come out of the music, it's like, safety first. We're like putting like everything. It's just like, okay, you know, we got it. We got yeah. it. You know, but. Um, yeah, they didn't want these kids to get in trouble. That one girl got robbed, though, of one of her things when like she was like swimming through the tubes and she was swimming. She didn't touch one end, and they were like, too bad, like you come in third automatically. I'm like, whoa, man! They were like cutthroat on this show. There was some games that I didn't th- that I didn't really like. There was one where it was called like uh, I don't know if it was called Dodge or something. It basically did that kid just get knocked out? No, they they <laughs> they they took they dressed the kids up in catchers' outfits and they had people have guns that they were dropping tennis balls at the kids and they had to dodge out of the way. Like that was one of the games. <laughs> I, know, I was like, oh that God. was ridiculous. You oh know, like, so some of it was ridiculous. Oh my God. I'm watching the one that you're talking about where, where they, they're all attached to each other and they're, yeah. they're trying to uh, pick up the fumble yeah. and like, they're just pulling on each other back and forth. One yeah. of the kids gets knocked down on the floor. <laughs> Oh my oh, God. This episode has been brought to you by Lethology Brewing Company out of Farmingdale, New York, right on Main Street. 60% New York ingredients, open six days a week. Go at lethologybrewing.com. Check out our app. Dude, but they, that's the thing. Like, I, they came up with a lot of different games. Like, imagine being the writer to the show. Like, oh, hey, what are we going to make them do this time? Well, you know? I think they said that they didn't have the same obstacles and sh- like it was a different obstacle every show. So yeah, I think they like so maybe they only ran 160 episodes because after 160 episodes, how many times can you like figure out? All right, bungee cord the kid, and I don't know, do a backflip off this thing and throw a ball through a hoop. Like, I mean, you probably you you got to be at some point running out of ideas. So why wouldn't they repeat the the? I don't know the game. I guess that was just a selling point for them. Like, yeah, we get why because like it would get boring. Because I would think you'd be like, okay, vote on what games work. Or like bring back the champions, like All Star. You know, these guys are really good at this one. Let's bring them back. Well, let me just talk about like I'll just give you the gameplay part here I'm on Wikipedia. Oh yeah, it? we haven't even gone through facts. Yeah. So on each half hour episode, three children of or teenagers compete against each other in four events that are based on extreme versions of skills. 
uh, such as basketball, baseball, football, and soccer. While most of these events include the use of an elastic harness. <laughs> that was like um, the best. The guy who invite, invented the bungee cord was like, let's come up with a game show called Guts. That's amazing. Others uh, make use of a wave pool and sometimes a racing track. During the show's run, more creative and ambitious events were developed, even including a fabricated ski slope. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything Craig. about that, but I think they said that in the show. So maybe it was because they didn't want people to be able to train for it. I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. But like, the what's fifth, the difference? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. But the crag was crazy. I mean, you um, where like. You know, you climb out this mountain, there's like rocks coming down on you and like water being shot at you and, and all this stuff. Uh, it reminded me of that um, show that then they took uh, on Comedy Central and then dubbed over at the uh, Extreme Challenge show. Um, yeah, which was also kind of like Wipeout. Yeah, it was like the, yeah. with the rocks coming down. I was like, yeah, those rocks are real. Those are real rocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember our theory on that game. I'm not gonna say it out loud, but we had a fucked up theory about that game. That's got me ball. Fuck all my pa. The show is ridiculous, Dan. Guts is actually a ridiculous show. It is one of the most ridiculous game shows I've ever seen, but amazingly creative. But here's the thing. Now we talked about this during Double Dare. Do you think a show like this? Well, I guess we have a lot of shows like this. Maybe a show like this does work. I mean, this show, like this. The, a show like this lasts. Yeah. We have shows like this now. We have American Ninja Warrior. Like, that's like a thing. But that's because the show works like this because, yeah, like The Rock has a show. I mean, there's like oh when you have athlete, athletic people going against each other, you're watching the skills. Yeah, the show, the show works. But see, I like this show because – like Wipeout, where that's a show with adults, the shows with kids, they're not real athletes. They're not training. And see, that's the thing. Like, when you have that show with The Rock, was that The Gladiator or something like that? Whatever they call it. I forget it. exactly what it is. It's like, yeah, yeah it's kind of like The Champion that, or something like that. That, that. that show's crazy. It's just like, all right, hit this with a hammer and break it. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge. That's just like crazy. But when you have Guts and Wipeout, you have people like in this case, kids and adults that aren't training for the show. They're just people going through an obstacle course. So it feels more like I can relate to it. When I look at American Ninja Warrior, I can't relate to that shit because I look at that. I'm like, I can't do any of that. Like, I'm not spider manning my way up a wall. And then after that, run up another wall and pull myself up. I can't even, like, I have to do, be able to do like, 100 push-ups and then like 12,000 pull-ups to be able to be an American Ninja Warrior. But I don't need to be able to do anything to be able to be on Wipeout. And as a kid, I just have to be able to like follow the rules to be on Guts. And then that's really it, you know? Yeah, I agree. I, I, I think I understand what you mean on that, on that one. Um, but again, with this show, what makes it is the announcer. Dude, we love announcers. I was telling you, in Double Dare, we shouted out Mark Summers so many times of being a great announcer. And this guy was great. I mean, uh, this type of game show works. Um, it's silly. Some of the things are silly. I would definitely um, look into more of the challenges that work well, that are both, like, funny to watch, but at the same time, interesting enough to, like, not bore you. There's, like, certain ones that I didn't think fit well. Like there was one, the archery one with the bungee cord and the archery. That was too silly. Yeah. But like the fumble, I like the BMX. I like don't like the obstacle oh. that you go through the. So you go through the kind of like an American Ninja Warrior obstacle. You go through the rubber band thing where you go. You everybody finally found out like you go underneath mm -hmm. and then you end in the pool. Mm -hmm. What is the point of ending in the pool? The obstacle ends by you just going down a slide and then you get wet. None of that does anything. I don't know, dude. dude like wait, you just yeah. you didn't like jump into it. Like there should have been like a jump off like a 15 foot cliff into yeah. the pool. But I think it goes back to what we were saying um, is that there's so much stimulation and so many things to watch. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to get a new game out there. Yeah. I mean, the classic the classic games have stuck. And they're trying to reboot all these games. I thought that they even tried to reboot Gladiator. 
I think they did. Yeah. And it, it's just not working because there's just so many other things to watch. After a while, watching this, unless you get people to start liking, but if you start to make champions and they come back and they challenge other people, I don't see why you tune in every week. I don't know. My other Because question- people want something to cheer for. People want somebody to cheer for or something. Well, I guess that's why it's also on Nickelodeon because like, it was on Nickelodeon because it's like a kid could be like, I could be on that show. So they didn't really need someone to keep coming back, I guess, because they were like... No, no, no. I was talking about now, but I, now, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Like back then, it's like a kid. Nobody cares. Like you're just running through things. I'm just seeing, trying to see if that game would work now. It know. probably would, though, because it's it's not as silly as Double Dare. I don't know. Do, do they have something like this? No. I don't think so, but I don't know if it would work. I don't think kids care now. I don't know. They do care about American Ninja Warrior. That they care about, yeah. Because it's like, I guess, harder or it's, you know, whatever. And the announcers on that show are nuts. Nuts. But but this this game, the one thing I had a question about was, was there a prize at the end other than that green orb and like some medals? Did they get money or anything else? Does it say it on the gameplay? I don't, after every episode that I watched, I didn't see them go, and you're going home with, and then that was, you know, blah, 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 but it didn't seem like they got anything. The competitors were awarded points. The player with the most points uh, received the gold guts medal and a faux glowing piece of the Argo crag. That's it. That they was got it. no prizes. Wow. They got a silver. So you're gold, just competing a for a medal. You're competing for a medal and a piece of glowing green fake rocks. That was a terrible trophy. Dude. That was a that, terrible trophy. That was a terrible trophy. I wouldn't want that. That looked insane. That looked dude, ridiculous. I'd rather the medal. Yeah, well, they do get a medal. So they were just competing for a medal. They weren't competing for money. No money. None or a prize. Nothing. Huh. Right. Changes the whole aspect. Yeah, because everything else now has to have money. I don't think there's a game show on the planet right now where you don't compete for money. It doesn't say anything else. You don't win pri- random prizes. There was no advertising for that. No. No Reebok way. Reebok was the only advertiser. At the end, it was like Reebok's the official advertiser of Guts or something. Other than that, it wasn't like Double Dare where it was like, now you tell them what they want. Oh, telescope, blah, 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 Tycho. Yeah, tri- because even even that temple, the, the hidden temple oh. game, the, even the people who lost, because there was, you know, you started out with six teams and went to four, two, three, two, one. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a consolation prize every time. Yeah, no. You, you didn't go home empty handed. So these people were truly in this for the sport, for the medal. That's right. So Guts was kind of like the kids Olympic. Yes, with Michael Malley. Michael Malley, man. Love this guy. Dude, Michael I... Malley. All right, they should have a competition, guts competition with Summers, Michael Malley, and DJ Roth. And, uh, Roth that would be the announcers of our ch- childhood. Michael Malley's energy was insane. But I got to say, like, just the, the sound in Summers' voice was a classic game show sound. Oh, he was, yeah. You know, go, you know, because you brought up uh, Wheel of Fortune, I always think of like Pat Sajak just like standing there. And his job is literally to go, okay, 200, 300, 400. Oh, hey, yeah. is there an a? Like, that's his job. Did you ever see there's YouTube oh. videos of him? He kind of like wails out on somebody for the first time, like he loses his shit. <laughs> But it's like, but it's like PG losing your shit. Oh my god, like, that's hilarious! And then he had to apologize, like, "Oh, sorry," because the guy like did something. And he lost all his money, and he's like, "I told you," right? Like you said, like he doesn't know the like he can't tell you the answers. Yeah. He's just like, "Oh yeah, there's two T's, two yeah. T's there," yeah. but he didn't know that there was two T's. Like someone's telling him that he probably is just like, "I don't care about what's there." He had the greatest poker face once on an episode where I saw some. some oh, I love it. Said like, like an, a letter like H or whatever or C. They're like C. He's like, ah, oh, no C's. And then the next person, like, and they got a big number. And they're like C. And he's like, no C's. And I was just like, <laughs> how are you not freaking out right now? I would have been like, what? Did you hear? 
the guy before you said C. Oh my god. Oh, I wouldn't be able to do that as a host. Like they're like, you know, you can't he can't react. No, that's why Mark Summers and Michael Malley had better jobs because they have to react. Because one, they have to keep the audience engaged. And two, they're comedians. You know, yeah. their job is to like make some jokes here or there or comment on what's going on. Pat Sajak's job is to stand there and to repeat things. But that's the thing. That's why I like Alex Trebek. And like, if you watch, go back and watch Jeopardy. <laughs> Alex Trebek throws some of the greatest shade at the contestants every now and then. Where like, it kind of can go like unnoticed or like someone's like, yeah, oh, Maybe you'll do better in the next round. All right, here we go. And I'm just like, okay, wait a second. <laughs> like he is just like digging at people every now and then, or they tell something about themselves. And he's like, interesting. Okay, so let's go back to the thing. And I'm just that's like, great. But that's why like guts works too, because Michael, they basically said, like, do anything you want, say whatever you want, but remember you're on Nickelodeon and just keep the energy up. And they were like, Mike, act as if you're just doing a commercial from Mount Two. <laughs> totally is because that's how he was acting the whole time like oh look at him he's hung in there look he's so how does it feel it's like i don't know i'm really embarrassed i was hanging there i was hanging there like you know it's like spill your guts spill your guts. I wanted him to get up in the kid's face and be like, spill your guts. Like, how did that feel? You were hanging there like, like a dead duck. Mike. And Mo's like, Mike, go have some coffee. I mean, go go take a nap. Mo. Mo. Like, so Mo, why don't you is Mo, like, why is Mo even there? Why is Mo needed? I don't know. Why does she have a referee she, shirt on? She was the ref. So, guys, if you like um, Nostalgia Test Podcast, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, subscribe and like. like Follow us on all social media outlets that you can find us and where you can get podcasts. Podbeam, Spotify, I- <laughs> Apple. <laughs> this show is so ridiculous. We didn't even talk about the ma- the main thing at the end in Big Mountain. <laughs> we didn't even. The Craig. Okay. The so Argo let's finish Craig. with that. Okay, so Argo the whole point Craig. is... What's the, the point? That name is garbage. The Argo so, Craig. So you, you waited until the whole end to go. Like, you gotta go back and forth, hit the buttons, and then you get to the like, climbing part. And then there's, like, water and ice and, like, you know, rolling rocks. Yeah. I think it was hard enough <laughs> if you were short. But if you all... You got right through this. I don't think it was that hard of a thing. We even saw. You know what messed some people up is they met, they forget to hit one of the buttons. Yeah. Or they. I, I didn't get that one. And why is that a medal at the end? Why is that a prize? Why, why do you care about that prize? And yeah. If I was on there and I thought there was a prize and then somewhere in the middle of the taping, they go, yeah, there's no real prize here. You just get like a medal. I'd be like, what the hell am I trying so hard for? Was the mountain so hard that it leveled the playing field? I think, well, I think it did because some people got lost. Remember, like, you you kind of, like, zigzagged. Yeah, you zigzagged. And so, like, I feel like with all the fog coming up and the water and everything, it gets confusing. And okay. then the rocks coming down on you. I mean, there was a lot of stuff going on. And, like, so I think people did, like you said, get lost or forgot to hit the thing because i think in one of the episodes that we saw there was a really tall kid who was able to like dominate the entire time and even though he yeah. didn't win it was really he didn't get first place on the crag i think he got like kind of mixed up somewhere in the in the mountain uh because like it's hard to see you know like it was hard to see I yeah because there's fog coming down so it was like a leveling, leveling the playing field. Like, I wonder why that, like why they were like, let's put a mountain climbing thing, uh, object in it. I don't know. I guess because they needed to make a cool trophy and they're like, this is a piece of the Argo crag. Like that's what they get. Like, uh, some sort of piece of the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> and where's the cuts? 
skills. Do you have it? Skills. Because like guts would have said like, <laughs> I guess it took some guts. I mean, you are jumping on a bungee. I mean, you could, you're jumping over seven feet like every time you're on this bungee thing. Yeah. I mean, there was that one, there was that one game that they played, which was hilarious, uh, where they had to jump with the bungee cord again and jump over the poles and then jump back over the poles back. And if yeah. you knock one of the poles over, you get like deduction, like a time deduction. I mean, one kid did it and he got, st- <laughs> got stuck. He couldn't bounce high enough to get up. And I was like, that doesn't really take guts. The really no. thing that takes guts is the Argo crag because of the rocks and everything. So if you had more stuff like that, I get it. But I think it's more like just the idea of like a good name, I guess. It's just a good name for a game show. Yeah, I guess because you're a kid, you're like, guts. I would not, not like skills. Do you have it? Skills. Spill your guts. Talents. Do you have coordination? Can you get across this pool fast enough? Are you, are you athletic? We're going to give yeah. you an or and you're going to hang. I got to see that one. You got to see that one because there's a part where the guy's just <laughs> running. This kid's just running and he's not really doing anything. He's just kind of going like this to the top of the, he's using the or <laughs> just from the top. The The host is like, uh, you got to go deeper with that or. And then he's like, yeah, after 10 seconds, the ref's allowed to come and help. And you see the, like the helper like push him all across. <laughs> I was like, these kids have not been told how to do any of this. There was another time that you watched like on the the knee board, mm-hmm. and the kid, the kid's just floating. He's not yeah. even like touching the thing. He's yeah, just, he's just floating know. over the pool. Like, yeah. there's no, there's no reason they they have him too high on the bungee. Yeah, the one kid that was like the biggest one of them all, he is deep uh, in. It just went deep in and it slowed him up. And then he's like, yeah. well, so I'll just raise it up. And he like raised his legs and just took the thing out of the water. And it was like, I guess I'm just doing this now. Like, <laughs> I was like, what is happening? But I think maybe this game wouldn't work now only because, especially with kids, like then this show, it is literally a first, second and third, like, you know, placing. There's yeah. not, you know, you don't have a lot of like straight competition with kids because you don't want to like, I guess, have a kid that lost I don't know. Like this was really interesting because a kid could literally lose. And same thing in Double Dare, which was funny when like the the alarm would go off in the Double Dare. We're going back to Double Dare episode, everyone should like listen to that one. Where <laughs> Mark Summers like when when you hear this sound, bam, bam, the show is over, and then uh, we're out of time. So one team is like literally coming <laughs> back, and then all of a sudden it's like bam, bam, it's like oh, time's up. Uh, well, you've lost, so we have to like. <laughs> Yeah, it's over. It's literal, literal winners and losers, and I don't think that they like would have that now, uh, especially for a kid show. Unless it's it's master- some sort of competition. I mean, it's Master Chef Junior, but I mean, not physical challenge. I think. I think with physical challenge, is Nickelodeon even out anymore? Dude, truthfully, I don't know. I think they, definitely Nickelodeon definitely exists now. It's got to. But it's like, is it as know. popular? I don't know. Did it go the way of like MTV where it's all going? Well, because they had Nick Jr. They have to have Nickelodeon. I mean, it would. They used to have like the Nickelodeon Awards, like yeah. the blimp. But people got slimed. Yes. I think people would enjoy this now. Maybe. I think it was, it, they would definitely work more than Double Dare. And I think people would enjoy it. I think it's fun. Um, for kids, yeah, I mean, I think they could do this for adults. I mean, it, it's it's a game that was set up the right way. I don't really get the mountain thing. I think you'd have to add a little bit more, yeah, to that. I mean, didn't but, they have that in American Gladiators? Wasn't there a mountain? Yes, yeah. you're right. So this is probably something that they came. They have this from. in so many shows, like this mountain thing, or like a, a pyramid that you climb, or something. There's like all this stuff. They always do that. But I, I like this one was so weird because it was like everyone got to do it. And then it's just like everyone's leading up to this mountain climbing thing. And it's just like, well, why not use it more? Like, you know, like, to you know, maybe don't do the wave pool fucking challenge. Like, you know, do something else that has to do with the fucking mountain. Yeah, agree. But, One quick thing before we end this test. Go ahead. The first person to get the... Uh, uh, Slime Bucket dropped during a 1979 premiere of the show that we are going to put this to the test. You can't do that on television. 
the cast member Tim Douglas was the first one uh, during a skit that got slimed. Later, it was often triggered by someone saying, I don't know. Oh, wow. Interesting. Uh, when they did, what they did at the Nickelodeon Awards one time, someone said, I don't know, and they would get slimed. I would be so pissed. Well, not, well, maybe not. I don't know. What's that slime? Remember they had Nickelodeon Gak? Oh, I had that. Yeah. I had Gak. Everyone, it was gross and fun and made farting noises. Yeah, it was uh, the, the green, the, the slime was either chilled green jello, green jello mix, and applesauce and green food coloring, and water jello powder, and baby shampoo. Oh, Jesus. All right. That's a horrible thing to I, get out of here. I know I'm about, I'm changing about Nickelodeon slime. And that's a nostalgia test engine. So, Dan. Yeah. Deep it. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to give you this before my, like, you know, internet keeps going, like, is uh, giving me a problem today. Thank you, uh, Spectrum. And Manny froze, or I froze. Oh, I have that too. Women you knew! Women you knew! All right, so. Uh, so. This show is not brought to you by Spectrum. Go fuck yourself, Spectrum. Oh, sh- But, um, so does it pass the nostalgia test? I loved it. I thought it was fun. I think that it's weird. Like, I had more fun watching Double Dare, but I know that Double Dare, it just doesn't translate. Um, it's only, like, I feel like I love it. Like, and... <laughs> And though I'm not trying to see if like other people would like, if I'm like, Hey, other people don't like this. It doesn't pass. But like, I do think something like something like Nickelodeon guts passes the nostalgia test because it's like, it's easily in a way translatable across like decades and, and, and like stuff like that. So like, it's not like with double dare. It's just like, it just doesn't, <laughs> there's so many things that I'm just like, what the hell is going on in that show? Where with this, I'm like, yeah, I get it. It's a competition show. Like, you know, and I think it's something that I could enjoy and other people could enjoy regularly because it's just a straight competition show. I'm going to say that unless it was rebooted differently with uh, a better medals, more at stake, and a couple like, you know, tweaks to some of the obstacles. And that they had to be repetitive and you and you made brackets and you got people to come back. I don't think the show would last long. Although it was fun, it was great. Uh, you know, you gotta have a really good host, but at this point, maybe this time around you'd think the host is annoying. So I don't really know. I'm just, ah, I'm not really sure what to say on this one. I'm I'm a little like I'm just gonna say it's gonna stay nostalgic. I'm gonna put All it right. there. Gotta split because there's too much, I'm already saying too much to it. Yeah, you basically read, described, it's a whole new show. You basically described American Ninja Warrior. <laughs> you know, like returning people with brackets and stuff like that. Like it's like Yeah. I'm gonna say it stays nostalgic. Okay. Know? All right. Well, there you go, everyone. Split vote on this one. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did. I enjoy going back and watching Guts. And uh, you know, if you love what we did on this episode, subscribe to the podcast and join the email list. You can do that on our website, the nostalgiatest.com. And you could also suggest a test on the website as well. Also hit that like button right there uh, for the episodes and hit us up on, on our social media and let us know what you think. Join the conversation on Instagram and Facebook at the Nostalgia Test, on Twitter at Nostalgia Test. And or you can also always shoot us an email at the Nostalgia Test at gmail.com. Many. Guys, thank you for listening. Uh, let us know what else we should be putting to the test. Yeah. Give me another show. Yeah. Item. Fad. Whatever it may be. Yeah. S- snap bracelets. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Do you have it? Yes. City guys. Thanks for listening to today's episode. Please subscribe to the Nostalgia Test podcast to know when new episodes drop. Don't forget to leave us five stars and a positive review so more people can find the podcast. Share your thoughts and memories on today's topic on our Twitter at Nostalgia Test and on Instagram at The Nostalgia Test. Tune in next time because you never know what pop culture will pop up on The Nostalgia Test. <laughs>